Hello and welcome to our webinar. Today's session, Connect in Atlanta at NLC 2016, will offer a preview of the National Leadership Conference. I am FBLA PBL Membership Director Lisa Smothers. Joining me are Conference Director Richard Bowen and Communications Manager Laura Morgan. We're here to give you the inside scoop on preparing for the NLC and how to make the most out of your trip. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. FBLA PBL Communications Manager Laura Morgan will moderate the Q&A at the end of this presentation. We are recording this webinar and it will be available on our YouTube channel later this week. Welcome. I'm glad to have you join me today for an overview of the upcoming National Leadership Conference in Atlanta. PBL starts June 24th and FBLA starts June 29th. Please note that all information we are sharing today is on our website at go.fbla.org slash NLC. What can members and advisors expect at this year's NLC? Stop by the marketplace to buy your conference t-shirt and an official FBLA PBL merchandise. Remember, today is the deadline to submit your design for the NLC t-shirt. Check out our social media accounts for more information. An important and exciting part of the NLC is the election of national officers. Candidates display literature at their campaign booths where members can talk to them about their platforms. Visit the exhibits to get information for colleges, fundraising companies, and technology vendors. This is your chance to network and gather new ideas for successful chapter activities. Show your state and regional spirit at the opening session in the regional campaign rally and recognition session. And make sure to take advantage of the open events that will be offered. PBL competitive events will take place at the Atlanta Marriott Marquis. Other conference activities will be at the Hyatt Regency Atlanta. FBLA online testing and exhibits will be at the Marriott. Competitive events will be at the Hyatt and workshops will be at the Marriott and Hyatt. These hotels are connected via SkyBridge. Note that although the hotels connect via temperature control SkyBridge, outside temperatures can vary, so plan ahead for any outside activities. Both hotels have all-day dining restaurants, food markets, and coffee stations. They are also connected to multiple food courts. FBLA's opening recession and Awards of Excellence program will take place at the Georgia World Congress Center. Busing will be provided from the conference hotels for these two FBLA sessions. Make sure you allow enough time to get from point A to point B walking time from your guest room to com competitions, workshops, etc. And check the bus busing schedules for the general sessions. One great way for members to enhance their NLC experience is by applying to be an NLC intern. Interns get a behind-the-scenes look at the conference as they assist national staff and officers with everything from regional sessions to photography, confirming judges, and more. For the first time, FBLA middle-level members are eligible to apply for NLC internships. The deadline for FBLA, PBL, and FBLA middle-level intern applications is May 13th. So learn more at go.fbla.org slash NLC. Please remember that NLC attendees, this includes members, advisors, and guests, are required to be in business attire throughout the conference. The FBLA PBL dress code should be, will be strictly followed for all conference attendees. Casual events are the March of Dimes Mini March for Babies and the social events following the Wards of Excellence programs. Comfortable shoes can be worn to get around the hotel, but remember to bring your dress shoes with you for events. Business attire is required for all workshops, competitive events, the exhibit hall, and other conference functions. Just to clarify, open-toed shoes and slingbacks are allowed, but flip-flops, sandals, and bare feet are not. So ladies, please don't be a slave to fashion. Buy comfortable dress shoes that you can bear to wear throughout the day. The conference begins with the Institute for Leaders an intensive day-and-a-half training program which starts the day before each NLC. 
It's where you'll find our most dedicated members, outstanding speakers, and powerful business leadership training. Who should attend IFL? Chapter and state officers, new or veteran advisors, aspiring entrepreneurs, or any future business leader who knows his or her ambitions will require innovative leadership should attend. More information on the IFL program is in the NLC guide and our website. Get ready to be colorful at this year's FBLA Middle Level Academy. Do you have what it takes to be full of leadership? Get ready to fill your leadership buckets with colors of the rainbow. This high energy leadership kickoff is organized chaos meets leadership mixed with energy, mission based moments and lots of colorful fun. We have great keynote speakers for our opening sessions. PBL keynote speaker Logan Weber is passionate about helping students build their leadership potential. An FBLA speaker, David Novak, is former chief, former chairman and CEO of Yum Brands and the founder of our national partner, Lead to Feed. Following these outstanding speakers, you will hear from leaders hoping to continue FBLA PBL's legacy of leadership as candidates for the FBLA and PBL National President, Secretary, and Treasurer at the campaign rally. The FBLA PBL Professional Division will again be offering resume critique at their exhibit booth at each conference. Be sure to bring a printed copy of your resume and check the conference program for exact times. There will also be a special networking reception during the PBL NLC, giving PBL members the chance to connect with our PD members and have their resumes reviewed. And there are even open events for our PD members attending the NLC who want to test their competitive knowledge. This year's regional campaign rally and recognition sessions will feature all awards for your region, including the presentation of the BAA America, CMAP President, and CSA Achievement Level pins. The session begins with 30-second success stories presented by your state president. And don't miss this chance to honor members and chapters who connected with national programs this year. You will also hear from the candidates seeking to lead you next year as your regional vice president. All local chapter voting delegates will have the opportunity to ask questions of the vice president candidates. Join in the fun for the March of Dimes Mini March for Babies held from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. for PBL June 26th and July 1 for FBLA. The social events after the Words of Excellence programs will be dances and are held on June 27th for PBL and July 2nd for FBLA. Silent auctions will be held at both conferences June 26th for PBL and June 30th for FBLA. And there's still time for chapters and states to donate, to donate baskets to this cause. As you plan your NLC trip, remember to check out our official travel partners for exclusive FBLA PBL discounts. The first ever FBLA Bank On It tournament is another great way for FBLA members to put their accounting knowledge to the test. Presented by the American Society of Certified Public Accountants and sponsored by their Start Here, Go Places program, this tournament is open to the first 64 FBLA students who register, and there will be awards for the champions. Learn more and register today at go.fbla.org slash NLC. Voting will occur on day four of each NLC. All attendees may attend the voting session. A special seating area will be reserved for voting delegates. Electronic voting will be used for all sessions. Delegates should bring data-enabled devices to the sessions for voting. All delegates must be in business attire and in the voting room during the designated voting times to cast their votes. On screen are some important dates for the conference. These can also be found on page four of the NLC guide. They include deadlines for internship and candidate applications, registration and voting, and hotel reservation cutoff. If these dates are not met, your students may not be able to vote, run for a national office, or have events prejudged. 
And be sure to download the official conference app to create your personal NLC schedule, keep up with social media, see finalists as they are posted, and more. Just search FBLA PBL National Conferences in your app store and look for this icon. The FBLA and PBL NLC guides will be added soon. Okay, looks like we had a number of questions submitted during today's presentation, so we'll start getting to those now. Um, feel free to submit additional questions. And if we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any questions that we're not able to get to. All right, so our first question is, how many people are going to be at each NLC? Richard? Uh, for the PBL conference, we're expecting 1,800. And for FBLA, we're anticipating over 12,000. Great, thank you. Okay, looks like we have a competitive event question. If someone is competing in a chapter performance event and an objective test, and they're scheduled at the same time, what should they do? I'm going to have National Education Director Kelly Scholl answer this one. Thanks, Laura. Um, prior to the NLC, when the schedules are published, if you should see that you have a conflict, contact the National Education Director at education at fbla.org. However, if you don't discover the conflict until you get to the conference, always go to your performance event first because performances cannot be rescheduled and we will make sure that you get to your objective online test or we will, we will always work to um, erase any conflict you have and make sure that you get to compete in your needed events. Great, thank you, Kelly. All right, our next question is, who gets to vote for the national officers and the regional vice presidents? Lisa, why don't you take this one? That's a great question. Um, local FBLA voting delegates vote on the election of the regional vice presidents, and local PBL voting delegates vote on the election of national officers, the president, secretary, and treasurer, the regional vice presidents, and any bylaw amendments. Um, the number of voting delegates is determined by less than 50 paid chapter members, two voting delegates, 50 to 100 paid chapter members, three voting delegates, and more than 100 paid chapter members, four voting delegates. So when the advisor does the registration, the votes will automatically calculate how many that you get, and then you'll sign the vote. The advisor will just fill in the voting delegates. A couple things to remember. No chapter may have more voting delegates than the number of members in attendance at the NLC. So maybe your chapter is entitled to three voting delegates, but if only you have two students, because advisors can't vote, neither can guests that are attending the conference, then you would only have two votes. Then also to qualify as a voting delegate, you have to have paid state, local, if you have local, it's mostly national and state dues, we're unified dues, so we collect the dues that way, by March 1st for FBLA and April 15th for PBL. And then voting delegates must register for the NLC by June 4th for PBL and June 9th for FBLA. Something else to keep in mind is FBLA is a little bit different for the national election, which is the voting of the president, secretary, and treasurer, and any bylaw amendments. Uh, every state is only entitled to state voting delegates, and those are assigned by the state advisor. So they're completing an online form for that. So the state advisor takes care of registering those. Oftentimes it's the state president and the state vice president. And then the only other thing that I really want to stress that's very important is if students are a voting delegate, whether it's state or local, it's really a privilege because you're casting votes for your entire delegation, your local chapter, or your state. And so it's really important to show up, to go on time, and to cast those votes because you have to have a quorum in order to conduct business. So it's very, very important to do that. So please, please, please spread the word about how important it is to vote and that it is a privilege. Thanks, Laura. Great, thank you, Lisa, for all that information. It looks like we have another competitive event question. It says, if I have students competing in entrepreneurship, which consists of a test and Q&A, will they take the test there at the competition and then see if they qualify for the Q&A like we did at State? Kelly? Okay, so for entrepreneurship or anything that's actually a role play case study, it's not actually a Q&A, they will take the objective online test on the first day of the conference, which is June 29th, 
And then if they are placed in the top 15 teams from the objective test, then they will go on to the final round of competition where they will be given 20 minutes to prepare their response to the case study, and then they will interact and role play with the judges. Great. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, our next question says, what hotel will IFL be held in for FBLA? Richard? Both the PBL and FBLA IFL programs will be held within the Marriott Marquis. Great, thank you. Okay, um, let's see. Our next question says, when is the America level due for the FBLA Business Achievement Awards? Lisa? That's another great question. This year, the America Level Award is due on April 30th. Um, after that date, it'll close down and no more submissions will be until the next year. So um, it's important that those students that are working on it, advisors, that you go in, check their work, and submit that. Because in order for it to actually process, the advisor has to go in and submit that. It's kind of just a final check. But as I said before, um, the America Level pins and also the president for CMAP will be presented in that first regional campaign rally and recognition session this year. Thanks. Okay, looks like we have another competitive event question. How many people advance from the preliminary round to the final round in performance events? In performance events, the top 15 competitors or an equal number from each preliminary round will advance to the final round. So if we had five preliminary rounds, the top three from each would advance to finals. If we had six preliminary rounds, then it would just be the top two from each because it's a maximum of 15 or the um, an equal number from each round. Great, thank you, Kelly. All right. Our next question is, will there be shuttles running from the various conference hotels to the Marriott Marquis during IFL? Richard? This year, the hotels are located very close to each other, uh, so they are all within walking distance. Um, the Hyatt, the Marriott, and the Hilton are all connected via sky bridges, um, so they're basically across the streets from each other. Um, the Sheridan is one block from uh, the Hilton, and the Westin uh, Hotel Indigo, and some of the others are on the opposite side there of um, the Westin. So it's a very close footprint for all the conference hotels, um, so you'll be able to get around there very easily. And we will be providing the transportation only for the general sessions that will be for FBLA at the Georgia World Congress Center on the 29th of June and the 2nd of July. Thank you, Richard. Okay, looks like we have another competitive event question. Um, if my event has an objective and a performance or interview, will they be on the same day? Kelly? The answer to that would be no. You will normally take the objective test for events like that on the first day of the conference, June 29th, and then um, the performance component um, takes place on another day. I would urge you to check your NLC guide for FBLA pages 12 and 13, have the schedule of all competitive events, and for PBL, that schedule is on pages 10 and 11 of the NLC guide. Great. Thank you, Kelly. Okay. Looks like we have another question. If I'm competing, can I still apply to be a conference intern? Richard? Why don't you take this one for us? Sure. Yeah, so there are um, a lot of opportunities that we have for interns for different tasks. So um, there's a place on the application for you to indicate your competitive event so that we can work around um, your duties and schedule and such with that. Um, usually if it's, you know, multiple events, um, you know, we try to see how we can accommodate that best, but um, we are able to work with your schedules. Great. Thank you, Richard. All right. Um, looks like I actually have another one for you. Um, which hotel will the national officer candidates be campaigning in for each conference? The exhibits for um, FBLA and for PBL will both be at the Marriott Marquis. The PBL exhibits will be in the uh, Marquis Ballroom Foyer. 
And the FBLA exhibits and campaign booths will be in the atrium ballroom. Thank you. All right. Um, when will national candidates know if they won the office they ran for? Lisa? That's a good question. And in FBLA at the national level, we like the element of surprise. So we don't tell you ahead of time. It's announced immediately before the installation. Um, so it's very, very cool. The spotlight comes on, the music goes up, and um, it's really exciting. Great. All right, another competitive event question. I've never been to national conference before, and this year I'm taking a com competitor for the accounting one test. Is this test given on site or will it be administered before we get to the conference? Kelly? Well, um, if it's for FBLA accounting one or accounting two, the um, objective online test is administered at the conference. However, if you're referring to PBL, we have a couple of accounting events that do have production components it would be accounting for professionals and cost accounting where they take the production test prior to the conference. And then the objective test for those events is taken at the conference. Okay, thank you. All right. In the case that the state president has to leave early, can another member of his chapter be registered to take his place as a voting delegate? Lisa, why don't you clarify this one? That's a great question. And um, oftentimes it can be very confusing. So there's two things that really the state president has to do or the person representing that. So the best thing to do um, would be if you know that that president isn't going to be there, I would ask the state advisor to just submit another name in its place, like a vice president. But the state president in the opening session would walk across the stage um, and kind of wave. We do that with the who's who. We bring you all up together and with your outstanding local advisor. The state president also gives 30-second greetings in the opening uh, regional campaign rally and recognition session in your particular region. Um, and again, you can if you're going to be for the opening session and not in time for the regional. You could specify that if you want to, but we need to know exactly who it's going to be because that's for the scripting. And finally, probably most importantly for the voting on that final day, um, we really need to have a name of that person. So if you're not going to be there, we need the name of that person that will be there. And again, that's up to your state advisor to do that. Great, thank you for clarifying that for us. All right, we have another competitive event question. When are the pre-submitted competition topics due? Kelly? Okay, so when you say a pre-submitted competition topic, that can cover a lot of areas. Anything, any project that is pre-judged is due by May 13th. The only exception to that is production tests are due by May 20th. Great, thank you. All right, um, looks like we have time for a couple more questions. So um, one question we got says, I was at the NLC last year and one region got to vote in the computer lab. How will you decide which region gets to do that this year? Lisa? Well, this is an exciting year for us. Um, based on the successes of last year's electronic voting this year, we're going to do all electronic voting for all regions. What that means is it's a little different. You're not going to be in the computer lab. So all voting delegates should bring a smartphone or data enabled device because voting for all regions are done electronically. So by smartphone, it can be like an iPhone, an Android, a tablet, anything like that. If you don't have one, you also will have the ability to just share with your neighbor. Another exciting thing, um, kind of that wasn't asked, but I want to point out is the national voting sessions at both FVLA and PBL will also be done the same way. So it would be great with the timing. We found out last year it went very, very quickly. It's a lot more accurate. Uh, just make sure that you report early so you can get seated um, because there is the reserved seating. And again, you always have to make sure that you have to, like Richard said, um, have enough time to get from point A to point B. Great. Thank you, Lisa. Right. When are the materials for PBL's job interview, future business executive, and future business educator due? Kelly? So there have been some changes to that this year. Where PBL job interview and future business executive are concerned, the competitors have to bring copies of their resume and cover letter in three separate file folders and they have to be turned in to the competitive events desk at the conference 
the afternoon before the opening session. So that's from 1 to 5 p.m. on June 24th. Future business educator materials, which includes a resume, cover letter, letter of recommendation, and a unit plan, still have to be sent in ahead of time in six separate file folders by the May 13th deadline. And whenever I say a May 13th or a May 20th deadline, I would urge you as local um, members and advisors to check with your state advisor to see if they want those materials sent to them first or if they want you to send them directly to the national office. Great, thank you, Kelly. All right, our next question is, we have a few students who would like to attend the conference but are not competing. Do we register them as guests or as members? Richard? Yeah, for attendees that are going to be there, um, if they're a member, they would be registering as a member. Um, even if they're not competing in um, the competitive events, they can participate in the workshops, the regional meetings, um, the exhibits, and open events. Great, thank you. All right, it looks like we have time for two more questions. So our first one is, what happens if there's no candidate for a national office at the NLC? Lisa? Well, if there's no candidate for a national office by the time the NLC starts, um, according to our bylaws, somebody can actually come on site, but they have to be at the candidate briefings and have all of their materials ready. That doesn't happen often because it'd be very hard to do. I kind of like it when they come out early and do the campaigning and everything. Um, this year we are doing something different with our candidates, so please make sure that you study the candidate application and candidate guide because you're actually going to have to um, attach to your application all the campaign materials and drafts that we ask for, like your draft speech, um, your booth layout, what you're going to have in your booth. Uh, we, we're doing it this way so it gives you guys more time to order things if you're running for national office and just to make sure that everything's fine, you're on task with everything, which I'm sure as the leaders that you would be, but you wouldn't want to get all the way to nationals and then have something like um, that the hotel might not ha like, like water. You can't have bottled water at a hotel because sometimes hotels don't like you to have things like that. So that's kind of why we pre-screen things. And I'm happy about the change because I think it's going to be a lot easier for candidates to get their stuff ordered and turned around. Great. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, and it looks like, and our final question is, if I downloaded the app at conference last year, do I have to do it again this year? Um, so I'll take this one. The answer is no. If you downloaded the app when you were in Chicago or at any of our national fall conferences in no, this past November, you can use the same app. You'll probably just need to run an update, and then you'll download the appropriate guide, whether you're coming to PBL or FBLA. But it's the same conference app, and it's still free. So we hope everybody takes advantage of that because it will always have the most up-to-date information throughout the conference. So it looks like that's all the time we have for today. I know we have several questions we weren't able to get to, so we will be emailing um, answers to all of you within the next few days. So keep an eye on your email for that. Thank you all for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you as we connect in Atlanta.